So this is the task then that we're going to plan together. The first thing to remember is that during the 150 words task you will be given two or possibly three choices depending on the year of your entry. You only write one 150 words task though. So similarly to the 90 words task, you will be given a choice, but you only write one. So the task that we are preparing today is this one here. We first of all read the introduction. Du schreibst einen Artikel für eine deutsche Schülerzeitung über Feste und Traditionen. Schreib etwas über ein Fest, das du in der letzten Zeit gefeiert hast. Etwas über dein Lieblingsfest oder deine Lieblingstradition. And we always will have this sentence here that tells us that we've got to write 150 words, obviously in German, and that we've got to cover both points in the uh, bullet points. It's worth mentioning at this point that the two bullet points do not have to have equal weighting. So if you feel that you can write more about bullet point one, um, that's absolutely fine. We don't need to do 75 words per bullet point. Um, that is a good indication, but it doesn't have to be equally weighted. So if there's one bullet point that stands out to you and you find yourself writing more for that one, as long as you have co covered both of them and the information that you're writing is relevant to the task, then that's okay. So at this point, I would just be pointing out and um, kind of highlighting to myself then what I'm writing. So it's an article for a school magazine or newspaper and it's about festivals and traditions. So that's going to give me the topic area that I'm writing about. Then I'm going to take my two bullet points and break them down potentially into two further bullet points so that I've got four to cover but certainly have a look about, at um, planning what I'm going to write within those two bullet points. So firstly, um, the first bullet point asked me to talk about a, a festival or a party that I have recently celebrated. So this one is forcing me to use the past tense. So I'm just going to put at the top here, past tense, and to make a note of uh, recently celebrated to make a note of the fact that I'm using the past tense here. I'm going to break this down and also talk about um, something that I will celebrate next year. So I'm going to use the future tense um, as part of my answer to this first bullet point as well. As long as I have covered the past tense and I have talked about a festival that I've recently celebrated, I can develop that further by talking about one um, in the future as well. So at this point, I'm going to make the decision to talk about Christmas. Uh, so Weihnachten. And then I'm moving on to the second bullet point and thinking about how I can break this down and plan this one out my favourite festival or my favourite tradition, I am going to talk here about Easter. Okay, so that's my favourite festival or tradition. I'm also going to introduce something that I don't like and the reasons for it. So I've broken this bullet point down then into positive and negative. It just helps me to expand my writing and make sure I'm writing enough. So the one that I don't like is Halloween. Whoops, Halloween. Okay. So before I start my detailed plan, I'm just going to make a note of the worst. Do your worst. And I'm going to tick those off as um, I feel that I've covered them during my writing. So just beneath here, I'm actually going to plan out what I'm going to say for each of my paragraphs and just include some of the language that, um, that I want or map out rather some of the language that I want to include in my writing. Okay, so first paragraph, I'm talking um, about a festival that I recently celebrated. So for this one, I am talking about Weihnachten and I want to use the opinions Gefällt mir Weihnachten 
was ich am besten finde. I want to include an obwohl phrase as well. And that's going to send my verb to the end. Obwohl is a kicker. And because I'm going to be writing in the past tense, I'm just going to jot down some of the verbs that I think I'm going to use in the past tense. So I can borrow this one from the, um, the introductory bullet point. Gefeiert. I'm going to use gegessen as well. Any good festival should talk about food. So gegessen, also getrunken. I want to include variety in my language, so I'm also going to show off that I can use um, sein verbs in the per perfect tense. So gegangen and geblieben, two examples of my sein verbs in the perfect tense. And I mentioned in my plan at the top here that I was also going to reference future um, Christmas. So. I'm going to use the phrase nächstes Jahr and just to remind myself that it will start werde ich with my infinitive at the end and then I'm maybe going to think about some verbs that I might use with that um, future tense so besuchen to visit essen of course and also kaufen. There may be some other verbs that I want to use, of course, but this is just kind of planning out to show me the language that I want to use during my writing. I'm going to go on then to the second bullet point and do a little plan for this one as well. So this one is talking about my favorite festival, which I've said I'm going to say is uh, Easter. So Ostern. And with this one, obviously, I want to use lots of positive opinion phrases in here. So I'm going to use ich mag, ich liebe, going to use ich glaube das as well remembering to put my verb to the end and during this one I'm going to be talking about what my mother thinks as well so to give a reference to a third person so I'm going to use meiner Mutter denkt das And then for Halloween, that's going to be my negative. This is the one that I don't like. So I can use ich hasse. Ich finde. And then some negative adjectives. So blöd. Teuer. Ärgerlich. remind me of my negative adjectives. 